Now we are going to start with an electroscope. Electroscope is an instrument or a device which is being used to detect that whether a body is charged or uncharged and if in case the body is charged we can actually know the nature of charge also. So we have two kinds of electroscope. One is pith ball electroscope and other is gold leaf electroscope. So first we are starting with the pith ball. So we are going to see that how pith ball electroscope is uh, going to detect that whether the body is charged or uncharged or how it is used to detect the nature of charge. This is what is an electroscope. So pith ball electroscope consists of uh, this insulating stand. So this is an insulating stand and with the help of silk thread, this is silk thread. We have suspended a pith ball. Right. So that means electroscope solve two purpose. One, it detects that whether the body is charged or uncharged. So it detects that whether the body is charged or uncharged. Now how it is used for that purpose? What we do is that we bring a charged body like suppose I bring any body towards itself, let's say I'm bringing this body towards the pit ball. So don't touch them, just try to bring them, bring closer. So when we try to bring closer this body towards the pit ball, we see that if there is a movement in pit ball, that means pit ball move this side or pit ball move, uh, like because pit ball is uncharged, right? So suppose this is a charged body and you're moving uh, and you have a pit ball, you are moving the ch uh, charged body to a certain distance, but you're not touching it. So if there is a movement in the pit ball, so that means this body is charged. And but if the pith ball is stationary, that means that body is uncharged. So we can say that if there is, if there is movement in pith ball, then that means the body which we are trying to bring is charged. But if pith ball is stationary, that means the body that you are trying to bring closer is uncharged. Now this is the way you can check that whether the body is charged or uncharged. Now how we can know about the nature of charge? How we can know about the nature of charge? That what kind of charge? Like if this body is charged then what kind of charge it possess? How we can know that? So what we have to do in this case suppose what we have to do is first you have to charge this pit ball by the process conduction. So what you're going to do is, I'm going to bring one body closer to each other and I'm going to touch it. Suppose let's say this body is of positive charge. I'm going to touch the pit ball with positively charged body. So it will uh, pass its charge uh, uh, to pit ball. So that means now uh, pit ball becomes positively charged. And I'll, I'm removing this bo charged body now because the charge is already, some of the charge is already being uh, flown from this side to this side and it has made the pit ball positively charged. So now what I'm going to do is now I'm going to check I'm going to bring another body uh, whose nature of charge is to check. So what happens suppose I bring that charged body so let's say this body is negatively charged. So I try to bring this charged body closer to it but not touching it. So what we'll see is that if the pith ball uh, move closer to this charged body because we know that it has a positive charge but we are not aware of the charge which is uh, which is present in this body so if pith ball move towards this body that means the opposite charge is there on this body which we are trying to make uh, uh, trying to bring closer so that means it will acquire it it must be having a negative charge because it is positively charged so if it is moving toward it so that means it is attracting that body and if it is attracting obviously it will possess a opposite charge only so if it is moving closer so that means it has an opposite charge because it is positive so it must be negative but if it is moving far far from it from it uh, so that means it is repelling because it must be having a same charge so that means we can know the nature but for that what you need to do is you have to make pith ball first charged with certain charge you can make it positive charge also you can make the pith ball negative charge but you have to do by the process conduction that means you need to touch the charged body with the pith ball then bring the bring the body uh, whose charge is to be detected to uh, near the pith ball if pith ball move closer to that body that means it is having a different charge it is having the opposite charge 
to the pith ball like suppose if pith ball is suppose if pith ball is positive so this body must be negative but if pith ball move away from that body that means they are possessing the same charge so like if pith ball is positive and if it is trying to move away so that means this body is also positive that is why they are repelling so this is how you can use the pith ball electroscope to know that whether the body is charged or uncharged and even you can know the nature that what kind of charge is possessed by that body which you uh, think is charged so this is what is a pith ball electroscope now we are going to start with the gold leaf electroscope